Yeah, it's the tailor-made mini driver, and uh, the only thing I don't know what's mini about it, but it's uh, it's a performer. This thing in my eyes. I've done my review. Hopefully you've watched that. If not, then click on on the link wherever I've just thrown it and go and have a look. But I'll tell you in brief. I think this is a great performer. I think it could appeal to a lot of average golfers. I think it could be a shot saver. If you're a bit wayward off the tee with your driver, don't like the small head of your three wood. This sits right in between the two. Gives you a great deal of control off the tee, but a lot of confidence in terms of this head size. So forget my opinion, we need more golfers. So it's down to team average. And I've got three different golfers. I've got six handicapper, 11 handicapper, and an 18 handicapper. They're all gonna test their own three with their own driver, and then the mini driver and see where it all sits, give you their opinion. So let's move the camera. Let's get over to, we'll start off at the top of the tree with a six handicapper and get over to Ben and see how he fares. In terms of appearance, um, it was quite strange at first because I've never really seen a club bigger than a three wood but smaller than a driver. But once I got used to that, it sat behind the club really nice and gave me that confidence that I could still really go after it. Uh, well, my three wood at the minute, I'm hitting it really nice. I'm confident that when I put it on the tee, I'm going to hit a fairway. Uh, compared to the mini driver, I was expecting it to be maybe be five or six yards further, but it was a 15 yards difference, which is quite big. And I didn't lose out any dispersion, it was pretty similar. But it was strange because with the through being 15, you'd expect it to go launch a bit higher, but it was the, the opposite, the mini driver was going higher, which was a bit surprising. But my driver, again, setting up on the tee, I'm fairly confident I hit a fairway with the occasional pull. With the mini driver, I didn't have any pulls, they're all fairly straight down the middle, which is perfect. And there was only a five yards difference which was unexpected because I thought there'd be a bigger gap between the three wood and the mini driver and driver compared to the three wood and mini driver. Price, I think it's quite reasonable because the price of drivers now are normally between 400 and 420 and the three woods are again, what, 250. So it's, it's perfect really in between the, in between the two. Um, I think it would be in the future if my driver wasn't quite there I'd just be a straight stop for the driver because distance wise it wasn't too different but it was the dispersion was so like, much better it'd just be ideal for hitting fairways and yeah thumbs up yeah really liked hitting it looked great felt great and really good yeah right some pretty impressive numbers there from Ben and he's been absolutely ripping that club believe me both on and off camera and uh I think the only thing I'd say about Ben is that we could pretty much give him most of the clubs that are sat in this bay and he gets some decent performance out of it. So we need somebody who's maybe not as consistent. So we're going to go up the handicap. So we're going to go to 18 handicap with Tom. New to the channel. He's, um, as he'll explain, a little bit wayward with his driver sometimes, prefers the confidence of the three wood. But will the mini driver be a solution for Tom, give him some confidence off the tee and retain that yardage that he was getting on his driver? Over to you, Tom. Let's see how you get on with this mini driver. Start. nice to look at, it's got the old classical look to it, uh, sat behind the ball, really nice to be fair compared to my other clubs. The size of the head for someone of my handicap in particular was a lot easier because you feel more comfortable hitting that. In 
terms of confidence, it's definitely a free one. But usually referring to a normal day of golf, I would hit driver off the tee because everybody likes to hit driver off the tee. Um, my consistency more comes with the free wood compared to the driver. So probably think I'm more sensible I should refer to my free wood a lot more. It goes a lot better for someone on my handicap because it's a lot straighter. The dispersion is a lot closer and that's what I need really. Rather than getting carried away with distance off the tee, it's definitely more consistency in hitting it down there. Overall performance in terms of consistency, which what we need to look at, it was a lot more comfortable. I have got a bigger shot in my driver, but I am not inconsistent. I'm too inconsistent with it. People will pay 350, 400 pound for a driver anyway, so someone who's after a lot more consistency would probably see value in it compared to the big stick. Right, great stuff there from Tom and a great assessment as well. And uh, what a line there, which he says is he goes to driver on the tee box because that's what we do. And I think so many of us are misled by we get on the tee, we see 500 yards and we just reach for that big stick. Irrelevant of uh, our dispersion and maybe again there, uh, a great option for Tom was this shorter shafted but bigger headed the mini driver was uh, I think again a decent his performance with it was unreal to be fair um, anyway enough of Tom we need someone to sit in the middle we had six handicapper we had 18 it's on to Brian Treadwell 11 handicapper ultra consistent in terms of performance he's been with Rogue three wooden driver for a while he performs well with them can he be persuaded to have a look at the mini driver will it fit in his bag what do you want me to find out? Over to you, Brian. I see you hitting some of these and uh, give us your verdict. Looks, um, always said it, never been an important factor for me when it comes to a club. I'm much more interested in all of the other important features that a club brings to your game. However, this club looks absolutely fine. Um, there's, it's not garish, um, it's quite a stylishly designed club. My game's progressed over the years. I'm playing off 11 now. Um, my driver is unreliable. Um, when I catch it peachy, it's a wonderful shot. And when I don't catch it peachy, I'm in trouble. The three wood is much more reliable, gives me a decent amount of distance. Um, so on tighter fairways, I'm now going to my three wood as opposed to my uh, driver as my, as my club of choice. Big wide open fairway, I might unleash the driver. It feels like a three wood behind the ball when you're at a dress. The bigger head therefore gives you much more confidence. So there's no um, anxiety or nerves about it when you're addressing this ball or doubt as to where your driver, whether you put a good swing on it or otherwise, might then mean dis dispersion means you're in trouble on your second. This felt great behind the ball and I was today like a kid in a candy store. I could have been here all day hitting this club. Um, I liked it a lot. My numbers on the uh, tailor-made um, original one um, were surprisingly really good. That's probably because I'm not chasing after any single one of the swings. Um, I'm getting a much more consistent uh, response when I strike the ball. Um, it felt a lot better, confidence inspiring. Um, I will be reaching for this club rather than running away from it in a situation on the course. In contrast with my driver, I'm an 11 handicap and like every other golfer. I'll hit one shot with my driver that's a screamer and then think that's the pattern for my play and it just isn't. Um, my existing driver gets me into trouble. I'm not convinced this would at all. Very pleasing. I know I did a, a Google search and I spotted those numbers from a range of retailers. Uh, 300 pounds is a proper decent price for a driver and will encourage people to come out and buy this product. Um, I suppose it has to sit within that range as a distinction between their M5 and M6s. Um, but this is a driver that, that I think will appeal to those that can park their ego and to those that are focused on their score. I'm presently 11. I think this, this driver will get me down into single figures. Right, okay, so it's over for me to do an evaluation. It's been a really interesting test and uh, watching from afar has been uh, a bit of an eye-opener to be fair, because I think that I've done my test and I've watched these three other guys from different handicap levels uh, do theirs today. And the one thing I've noticed is that we're testing the mini driver, but there's one thing for sure is that the shorter shaft 
is a great option for average golfers. Whether that means a shorter shaft in your current driver is an option, uh, I'm not dismissing that, but we're obviously we're just reviewing the, uh, the mini driver today. But that extra control and that ability to find the center of the club face is all important because it does two things. Obviously, I seem to have noticed that everybody's ball speeds have either been increased or stayed very little different to that of the driver. And in most instances, like I said, actually increased. And that's obviously down to the fact that they're finding the centre of the club more often. So that's one thing in terms of ball speed, which you think would relate then into overall distance of performance. But the dispersion has been, again, markedly different for almost everybody. And I think, again, that comes down to that greater control. There's been one word that's been used by a lot of people, and that's confidence at address. And I think it's key. And for me, again, personally, that larger head profile feels like you can't miss in terms of confidence uh, at address. But also that shorter shaft giving you the greater control and I think it's a, got a great combination between the two. Uh, and for me, I think that TaylorMade are obviously uh, often criticised for the amount of products they release. That's one thing we aim at them, but I think in this instance this is a, this is a great product, a great release. And I think it's well worth giving a try. Particularly, like I said, um, if you struggle with driver in terms of uh, your ability how way would you are with it in terms of overall performance then yes it's well worth having a look at if you're then scared of the three wood because of the smaller head profile then again it's worth having a look at and i think for me what i've noticed and what i was surprised at is i was expecting or not expecting to see such a small drop off if any and in some instances increase in distance between people's driver performance and the original one performance and that's been the key so I thought, is it going to be a problem? Where would it sit in the bag? Is it a, is it a replacement to the three wood? And no, it's not. It is definitely for me, it's a replacement for driver because you're not giving up any yardage and you are certainly seem to be from the testing we've done, improving dispersion with that shorter shaft. So you, at the end of the day, draw your own conclusions. It is still a very small testing. We've done it with three people here today because of the testing over three wood and driver. It would have took too long to put over five people. Uh, but I think, it's almost unanimous in the feedback and uh, for me uh, and for the others I think a massive tick in the box of TaylorMade and this uh, mini driver and uh, on a personal level I'm really considering uh, playing this for the future of 2019 and it might just dis move that G400 Max out the bag and it's been there for a while but uh, we'll see if that rings true in the months ahead but that's certainly the way I'm thinking right now. Anyway, thank you for watching as ever, comments down below, always interested in your feedback. Thank you for watching and uh, thanks to everybody from Team Average who got involved and uh, I'll see you very, very soon.